All right. So, happy new year, 2021. So, I haven't posted anything in a long time, obviously, because I'm in California and they shut my business down. And you guys have seen enough videos in working out and stuff I've um, been doing. So that being said, I start off the 2021 with a new video, new new kickoff, and it starts off with uh, ver they just lasered my varicose vein yesterday. So I'll show you real quick where they did it. Let me just flip this over. As you can see, I'm bandaged up. They actually started right here in my groin. I'll continue the video with once I take all the bandages off. I can't take the bandages off until tomorrow, but it was a pretty simple procedure. Basically, you go in, they shoot your leg with lidocaine. You feel the first shot. After that, everything's pretty much numb. They just shoot, shoot. You feel like one or two of them. That's about it. They do a little incision. They stick a catheter in there. That's where the laser is. They went all the way down to about here. He said, this might feel numb for the rest for the rest of my life, which is a eh, big deal. Um, for some of you that don't know, I'm fully, my, I have a full leg sleeve and he did not want to ruin my tattoo at the bottom. I told him that if we needed to, let's go ahead and just do it. We'll figure it out and we'll fix it later. He said, no, not to worry. He said, no, not to worry. And um, we're gonna try this first. He said he was 90% sure it was gonna work and we didn't have to go in there and take those out. But if we do, then we do. But anyways, just wanna let you guys know if you're thinking about doing it or you're gonna do it, it's not that bad actually. Um, you go in, they lay you out like almost like you're in surgery. It's just a local, you're awake through the whole process. You, they ultrasound it. I wanted to record it, but they wouldn't let me. But basically the ultrasound to find the spots where they're gonna go. <laughs> And like I said, initially, it's the first jam that you feel in your leg. And it kind of feels a little bit harder than when you're going to the dentist and they, um, you know, numb your numbs to do either a cavity or a root canal, stuff like that. So other than that, I will give you a progression tomorrow. I have to take the wounds off. I have to keep it on for, 20, for 48 hours. I have to keep my foot elevated. And... Um, I'll take the bandages off tomorrow at noon. They have to wait until noon. Usually the 48 hours is from the time they did the surgery to the 48 hours after. And after that, you have some um, they did some stereo strips. They said to leave them on there. They'll fall off on by themselves. Um, and that's about it. So that's where we're at. <clears throat> All right, good morning, day two. Actually, should I, should I should say afternoon, it's about 12. So I just took a shower, took a quick shower just to get everything off and feel refreshed because you can't shower for two two days. So let me just show you real quick here. Let me flip this. Okay, so here you can see where he kind of, where did it go? Went in here, here, right there. And they went, there's a couple more spots here that they went through. I think that's where the lidocaine went in here is where they pop right in and stuck the laser in. Originally, you can still see the markings. We're gonna take all this out here, here, and I believe that was it. But we decided he didn't wanna mess up the ink work, which I appreciate, and he was 90% sure that by lasering it here, we would um, solve the problem. He said some of this area here would feel numb, but it doesn't feel numb at all. So, now, I also have to wear these compression socks. Most of them, you've seen them, um, you hate to say this, but on old people. Um, for two weeks, for two weeks I have to wear them all the way up to my thigh up here. Even when I do cardio, they want you to do cardio, minimum 30 minutes, probably 45. I'll probably push the envelope to maybe an hour, an hour and 15 just so I can keep that circulation going. There's no blood clots. And um, I should be back up and running. So as of right now, I'll put up those um, those um, socks, compression socks all the way up to my thigh. Wear them for two weeks. I believe in two weeks I go in for an ultrasound, so I'll do an update there. 
and then that should be hopefully a wrap. So if you're considering or you need to get your varicose veins lasered, do it. It's an easy process. You only feel a pinch when the first shot of the lidocaine goes in. After that, it's, it's a breeze. You're in and out in five minutes. So hopefully this video helps. Like I said, I'll throw in the backup of the ultrasound when I go in for the recheckup. They're going to do the ultrasound to make sure there's no blood clots, things of that nature. They suggested, I've been taking a baby aspirin all this time. I went off of it. So today I'll start taking it again just so it clears the blood, thins the blood out a little bit so everything just flows pretty good. All right, I'm out.